What is up, my beautiful brothers, Beauty Maniac here with NBA Game Picks and Spreads. We got a lot into it, so we're not going to get too much into detail over the games. We might um ramble a little bit, so I do apologize if that does happen. It is Friday, March 8th. For those of you wondering, we got the Wizards at the Hornets. This one's very interesting for the fact that Bradley Beal can straight take over games, but so can Kemba Walker. So it's like, it reminds me of like a Obi-Wan versus Qui-Gon Jinn kind of thing. Where both can just straight up fuck shit up, but I uh, gotta go, gotta go home team here. I think the Hornets are a much more gelled team. If the Wizards still had Porter, if they still had John Wall healthy, maybe I'd pick them. The Wizards are just one of those teams that this season will probably go down as a disappointment, but I think it's definitely headed in the right direction. If as soon as they just add someone or get healthy. Feel bad for them, I do. You got the Mavericks at the Magic. Orlando favored by 6.5. I think they win in cover. I think the Magic are going to make a serious push for the 8th seed in the East playoffs. It should be interesting to watch that out. At home against the Mavericks, which is a tough competition for them. I believe Vucevic and Gordon will have good games, both of them. Carry the Magic to victory. 6.5 point spread does seem kind of large, but I do think they cover. By the way, I don't know. I think I forgot to say this, but Charlotte's favored by four and a half, and I think they're going to cover as well. Then you get the Cavs at the Heat, Heat by eight and a half. I'm going to pick the Cavaliers in the upset, mainly because, like I said before, I feel like the Ca the Mag the Magic are going to make a push for the eighth seed, and that would mean the Heat stumbling out. So if the Magic win tonight and the Heat lose, that would technically tie them for the eighth seed, I believe. Miami's favorite eight and a half, but I am picking the Cavs in the upset. I don't want them to get their 50th loss so early in the season. Well, this early in the season, I don't want anybody to really get 50 losses. It's just, just sad. Then you got the Pistons at the Bulls. Pistons by four. I'm going to pick them to win and cover. They're currently game over 500. A win here puts them two games over 500, which is a decent cushion at least compared to the ninth seed because a win here puts them about... If the Magic win, a win here would keep them about three and a half games ahead of the Magic, which is a, a nice cushion, like I said. Four-point spread seems kind of small, but the Bulls are playing very solid basketball as of late, so this is going to be a very challenging matchup for them in Chicago, but I still believe the Pistons are overall the better team. Andre Drummond, Blake Griffin have been playing extremely well lately as well, like the Bulls have, so it should be a good watch. Then you got the 76ers at the Rockets, as you can see here, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, ESPN. Houston's favored by 7.5. I think they win. I think they cover. Uh, it's sad, sad um, day for me when Fareed and Embiid are both out, and they're, they're like my main big men for my fantasy team. Kind of sucks. Ben Simmons is qu questionable. Boban is out. So I just think overall injuries are going to affect the 76ers too much in this. Although Tobias Harris could take over this game, so could Jimmy Butler. J.J. Redick could shoot straight fire as well. I feel much more comfortable with the Rockets with Chris Paul's chemistry with James Harden. Clint Capella playing great basketball. Eric Gordon, P.J. Tucker, great complimentary pieces. I think overall their, their starting five is going to outperform the 76ers. And it's not so much because the 76ers lack anything. They just need to concentrate on getting healthy for the Eastern Conference playoffs. And it should be fun. Then you got the Jazz at the Grizzlies. Jazz by five. I think they win and cover. Grizzlies have been playing well lately. So has uh, Valanciunas. He's been a great player for them. But I still am picking the Jazz. Jazz making an interesting push to try to get one of the higher seeds in the West. So it should be interesting to see how that turns out. Then you get the Raptors at the Pelicans. Raptors by eight. I'm going to pick them to win and cover. A loss here would only be their 20th of the season, which is quite impressive. And then you get the Nuggets at the Warriors. Warriors by 6.5 ESPN, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. I don't think the Nuggets can do to the Warriors what the Celtics did. But then again, I do think the Celtics got lucky because the Warriors kind of shot like shit and played like shit. I think the Nuggets are a really good competition for the Warriors. I think it's going to really wake them up. Interesting factoid here, the Nuggets and Warriors are so close in the standings currently that if the Nuggets win, they will be exactly tied with the Warriors. Same amount of wins, same amount of losses at 44 and 21 each. So win here for the Warriors, putting them up by two games would be huge. I think they do win, I think they do cover. I'm looking for a much more solid defensive performance, a much more solid shooting performance than their last few games. 
They are kind of cold, but it will be interesting to see. Then you got the Thunder at the Clippers. Clippers by two. I'm picking the Thunder to win this one, I guess, in an upset, if you want to call it an upset. I think this game is more of a 50-50. Nothing, nothing against the Clippers. I just feel like the Thunder have more star power. Other than that, should be a good game. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next one, and you have a good day. Peace.